to Welcome back, everybody. our house and my house right here on the Bo Carver Show on 620 AM KEXB. And we're here every Saturday morning from 7 AM to 8 AM on this station. And y'all can listen to us live from anywhere by downloading the iHeart Radio app, free app, or the TuneIn free app, and uh, listen, and then search 620 AM. I did. KEXB, and voila. Yeah, or you can do Facebook. We're on Facebook Live also, today. Also, you can uh, 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 go to www.620AMKEXB, and when you get there, click on Listen Live, and you can do that, too. Yeah, absolutely. So, I'm your host, Big Wheels Bowl, on my co-host, J.T. King, Bowl, 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 Judge Paul bananas. Raleigh, <laughs> and Barbie Ann, Graham Knox Mirabeau Carver, our videographer and producer, Venus J. Ford, and on the line right now, our special guest, please make welcome the MMA fighter, fighting for the forgotten, please make welcome Justin, the big pygmy. <laughs> Man. Uh, good morning, Justin. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course, of uh, course. Thanks for coming, so the where big you, pygmy. So where are you calling from? Uh, I'm actually calling from the Dallas Cowboys Golf Club. We're about to tee off at oh, 8 cool. a.m. Hurry. We're having a uh, fight for the forgotten kind of fundraiser out here today. Um, and just, yeah, I think there's about 100 guys out here all playing golf and raising awareness and making relationships with people who can support the cause. Well, make sure that when you go hit one of those balls, it's not one of those hail balls. It's a golf ball. Because <laughs> <laughs> the weather might be coming. Keep your yeah, eyes open true. out there. You today. got a hole in yeah, one, you got a hole in one tournament out there, too? <laughs> What's that? Is there a hole in one uh, uh, tournament out there also? There is. Uh huh. Yeah, well, I got. I'm I got not much of a golfer. This is my like third time playing. Oh, uh, good. Uh, you'll be. You'll have fun. I got a quick question for you, Justin. Uh, out of the hundred guys, can you take them all? Uh, sure. <laughs> he's gonna, he's I out, knew he was going to say yes. He's not going to beat him at golf, but he gets time he gets down to the end, they're all going to be disappearing. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. That's <laughs> they're going to be stuffed in that so, hole. So, Justin, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate that. Now, you've got a lot going on, and I know that we cannot cover this in 10 minutes, but just give us – okay, first of all, we saw you fight, what was it, about a month ago up in – Yeah, March 3rd. Uh, right, March 3rd, a couple days for my birthday, and you did some whooping. And uh, it I was, think the fight was three minutes long, if it, even maybe. Yeah, yeah two and a half. I two really, I really wow. wanted my money back because the <laughs> fight was so. so <laughs> oh, it was great. We met a lot of great people supporting his fight for the cause or fight for the forgotten his cause. And we were and sitting the there. Oh, I read the book, Justin. You made me cry more than anybody in my world in this world. Every oh, wow. every chapter, I cried. The beginning, and I know that May fifth is a special day to you. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. I, that's a special day for a lot of people. She's May tearing up as she's talking Sino about this right now. That was the day he accepted Christ. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think that was single to my own means, isn't it? it is. yeah. Well, that's, the whole world celebrated it with him. There you go. But anyways, it's a great book. It's about, and you know, every time I read it, I cried. So every tell page. us now, real quick. I, I feel like crying. Where can we get that book? Well, I'm sure I, I can get it for you. Right. Trust me. We I will know, post it. I know your parents, Justin. <laughs> I don't know if that's a threat or not. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna tell you whenever you said you want your money back because it went too long. I was gonna say talk to talk to Mama Bear. Talk yeah, to Mama, Mama Bear. She, she likes them when it's quick. I know what she's gonna tell me. Or so come and I'm get not, it. It's in my pocket. Yeah. His parents own yeah, America's it. best photography. It. The ones that we advertised during uh-huh. the commercials. That is his mom and dad. They I'll own that darn. company, well, and that is how we got associated with Justin. Mm-hmm. And they're so proud of you, Justin. Oh, and I see why. Are they ever. And uh, oh, well, thank that, you, Terry. It's, it's been a real, real. Uh, I've been real fortunate to have a, a ton of support and, and two of the greatest absolutely is uh, is my mom and dad uh, my wife as well and then just uh, the, the support's been absolutely overwhelming uh, people getting behind this you know me using um, the platform to fight and compete uh, to use that platform to tell people about the water wells we're drilling in the Congo it's just been uh, in- incredible well and now where can they get your book otherwise if they don't know your mom and dad yeah, <laughs> it's at Amazon. It's on Amazon. It's at Barnes and Noble. 
Um, and then the best place I would say is our website. It's fightfortheforgotten.org. And the reason I would say that's the best spot is one, I can sign it for people if they want that. But ah. two, uh, the best reason is uh, 100% of the proceeds go to the cause from the website. So that's the best way to support uh, what we're doing and drill more wells. Um, and yeah, love on the Mabuchi Pygmies out in the Tree Rainforest. So is that how you got back into fighting as you went out there and saw that you could take them really quick with your six, what are you, six, three, 265 pounds? What is your, what is yeah. it? Did, you get, did I get close to that? You, you, you nailed it. <laughs> you should, I think you should, if you're that big, you should underrepresent. So on the fight card, it says, you know, yeah, absolutely. five, nine, <laughs> 160. But you yeah. know what the fight we saw him at? To. I think he just got brought up to heavyweight because the other guy didn't weigh in. So they brought Justin up. Isn't that correct? Um, no, I actually, uh, I mean, there was a fight that was... That was another book. But there was, that was another fight, and so I just made him the spot for, for them. But um, or our fight got moved up one on... But you're in the heavyweight class, right? Yeah, I'm a heavyweight, always have been. Uh, it was probably since I was, like, in middle school. <laughs> ah, that's and funny. so uh, just been a big boy. And, yeah, I just, I love it. I grew up wrestling. Uh, my mom knows that, that wrestling was something that really just uh, blessed me. Um, I grew up getting very heavily bullied. Um, discovered that's, my dream of, uh, of fighting. Of beating up art. bullies? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, basically. Who doesn't want to do that? In myself, it's like the water boy. Uh, stand up yeah. for myself. Gatorade yeah. is better. <laughs> And then, yeah, it's just been it's been great to see what it's turned into. Won a couple national championships in wrestling, um, but now uh, and started fighting professionally at 19 years old. 21, I was on the Ultimate Fighter TV show. 23, wow. I was um, at the Hard Rock in Las Vegas, uh, you know, fighting as the main event. Um, and it's just been really, um, but that didn't really fulfill me. So I, I actually became a depressed, drunk drug addict for about six years. And then uh, yesterday, I had had my 30th birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, thank you. Or actually, I guess two days ago. Look at you. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Well, you turned like your life it. around Very and uh, so. you have, now you're fighting with a cause and there's nothing sure. better than that because when you have a cause and you're fighting for that cause, you get, a, especially for the spiritual cause you have, there's a lot more adrenaline that runs through your body for that, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I have so much more passion and purpose. And, yeah, life used to be about fighting for myself or, I guess, fighting people. But now I get to fight for people. Um, and that's just been passion, the greatest Passion, purpose, and life. punches. Hey, I like that. <laughs> yeah, there hey, there's a new little slogan for you. Now, yeah, you, got a, you got another fight coming up, correct? Ooh, um, yes, I do. I'm not really supposed to publicize it. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. He does. It's my a, bad. It's it's on a golf today. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we're he's on fighting a, with a hundred guys today. That, that's, why, that's why we're on a delay. We'll try to delete that if we can. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. But uh, July, July 14th, it's looking like I'm fighting, um, and it could be at Windstar again at the Oklahoma, uh, right on the Texas border. I just can't say against who or anything like that. I got you. It's not Barbara Ann, is it? So no. So, okay. uh, I She's think that'd be fun. I think that'd be fun, but he'd kick my butt. So you're saying <laughs> I'd do it. I'd do it. Without saying without saying, you're saying that we should make another trip to Windstar pretty soon up there. I think you should. <laughs> pretty 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 done deal. Okay, cool. Cool. Well we'll look forward to that because man, we enjoy it. Because then we get to hang out with Mama and Papa Bear again. Uh, that's right. That's nothing better yeah. than that. Your parents are just awesome. And because they're you the parents are awesome, the child is awesome. Yes. And and I'm not calling you a child. So you'll come down here from that golf course. And <laughs> Man, <come> child. <laughs> so Look up. Here he comes. But, uh, He's in the parking lot. I Don't think you know what I'm talking about. You're a great guy, and your cause is just through the roof. <laughs> and uh, now the main thing is is about the water, correct? Getting them fresh water. One minute. Yes. Yeah. So uh, now I'm the official, I guess, spokesperson for Water Four, and that's who I initially partnered with. Right. And they just empowered us to drill 62 water wells. Wow. Um, in the Congo, but we do it all through the locals. And so we, um, we we give them the tools, train them up, empower them. So what we say is that opportunity is greater than charity. Wow. And that yeah, charity that's can be great. 30. Opportunity is always better. Teach a man to and, fish. Um, that's yeah, right. Exactly. Give them the fish or teach them to fish and feed them for a lifetime. Just we give them jobs. And uh, last year alone, we were able to empower 370 people in the continent of Africa and 16 African nations. They drilled 690 water wells. Wow. 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 How, how deep do they have to drill? Water to 100. 
Uh, well, it gave water to 172,000 people. Holy cow. Wow. Blows me away. And they, our sweet spot with those all those wells is about 60 to 90. I'm ready to run out of time. Here. Justin, Justin, well, we got to take deep. a break. You want to come back and finish a couple more minutes with us, or do you got to go? Sure. Okay. Yeah, well, y'all, y'all don't go away. We're going to come back with our guest, Justin Wren, right here on 620 AM. KEXB on the Boat Carver Show. Don't go away. BWB. 